Common sayings of lost people number 21. You're just holier than thou. That's your problem. You're there with your beliefs and your Bible and everything else. You holier than thou, old Bible thumper you. Let's see what the Bible says about that. It's interesting that lost people will say that as an as a attack against Christians and they don't even know where the statement came from. Are you aware there, lost person, if you're watching this, or you can show lost people this, are you aware that the statement holier than thou is actually found in Scripture? And it's actually God saying it about men? Isn't that weird? People that are lost will actually use a statement that God himself made about hypocrites, religious hypocrites. Hmm. Isaiah chapter 65, verses 1 through 7. Let's read that. I am salt of them that asked not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Self-righteous people, in other words. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. These are religious people, in other words. Which remain among the graves and lodge in the mountains, or lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels. Of course, you have that as the Old Testament there, the unclean animals. Um, what not there as a New, Test New Testament Christian today. But uh, verse 5, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemy upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. You know what ticks God off? People that are holier than Him. Okay? And I say that meaning people that think that they're holier than God. People that come out and they say, well, I believe the King James Bible is the best translation, but it's not perfect. It's God's Word, but I can show you errors in it. What does that mean? They're holier than thou. I say thou meaning God. Mm -hmm. Um. We have a great church here, and we do, you know, run so many people in Sunday school, and we have a bus ministry, and we get to, uh, with our tithe money, we're able to build onto the church. And it, where's that stuff at in Scripture? It's not. What do you have? A bunch of people that are holier than thou. You say, well, that's religious people. Okay, what about secular people? Secular people that come out and they say, oh, I'm not that bad a person. I don't need God. I don't need the Bible. I don't need Jesus. What's the problem? They're holier than thou. The Bible says, there is none righteous. No, not one. There's none that doeth good. They're all gone out of the way. Romans chapter 3. And yet, what does man say? No, I'm holier than thou. I don't need God in my life. I don't need a Savior. I don't need to turn from sin. I, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm a good person. Okay? I don't need you coming here and telling me, Mr. Holier than thou. It's so funny because they try to turn it on... Bible-believing Christians like myself and like you out there. Oh, you're holier than thou. Uh, no, actually, the Bible says it about you, self-righteous hypocrite. Romans chapter 10, verse 3. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. You see, here's how it works. You want to break things down to a real simple little formula? Here's how it works. There's only two types of righteousness. God's righteousness or your own righteousness. Heaven or hell. It's just that simple. And if you have God's righteousness, it's because you don't have any righteousness in and of yourself. There's no more self-righteousness. You say, okay, I'm not going to make it to heaven. I know I'm wicked. I know I'm vile in God's sight. I know that this book condemns things I've done in my life. I better get His righteousness to cover me. I better have my sins washed away by the blood that He shed on the cross. I need to be saved. I need Him to help me clean up the wreck of a life that I have currently. Yeah. Or you can have your holier-than-thou righteousness. I'm holier than God. I don't need His death, burial, and resurrection. 
I don't need his word to tell me what to do. I don't need him in my life to convict me of sin. It's okay, I got it. I got it. I believe the gospel. I believe I've re you know, read some books about religion. I believe that stuff. Fine. I'll do my own thing now. Thank you. Uh, I don't believe that this book is perfect. I'm holier than thou. I can correct it. You see? That's the difference here. So next time some lost person says to you, oh, you're just holier than thou, say, uh, well, let me show you what the scriptures say. And I think when we come out of this, it's going to be found out that it's actually you that's holier than God. And uh, you just made a statement that is God's statement. You better think about that.